It is time, gamers. Excuse me as I wake up. I might seem groggy. I slept in for once. Uh, hey, Kev. Hey, Murda. We got a long one today, boys. So we are multi-streaming on uh, Twitch and live, uh, Twitch and YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. I, I'm also yeah. I'm still waking up. Okay, I was not feeling too good this morning. So, excuse me while I have my uh, caffeine. But I know I'm streaming this a little bit late today. I blame Dragon's Dogma entirely. I, I've been losing sleep on that game, man. <laughs> so just FYI, guys, while I am going to be multi-streaming, uh, if you guys want to, you can watch on Twitch at the same time, just because it'll at least give you uh, the Twitch drops or whatever. But yeah, we got costumes to grind, we got Crystal 5 gear to grind, we got gear crafting to grind. And uh, I just put out a video that gives you the new crafting resources cost for the Nitro and Forge Fragments. Now, a theory that quite a few of us ended up having, uh, more particularly Kev and uh, a couple other people when you know while, while i was streaming dragon's dogma we talk about things because you know i was playing that game for like five hours straight the other day um basically we theorized that the reason they ended up increasing the cost to upgrade so for example you know the uh the crystal five gear the reason why it costs so much is because they want this update to last which is concerning in the long run because there's not much content in terms of like just what this update actually gives so yeah i mean at least it gives us something else to grind but good lord okay let's see if nitro went up in price No, it's actually significantly lower. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, how much nitro do I have right now? I only got up to like 90k, I think, and it was 145k nitro cost the other day. Um, probably because gathering day. Uh, well, if I need 90k, then how much more do I need? Good lord. <laughs> Hold on. Uh... Oh, did the Forge Fragments get nerfed? Okay, sorry, then I will update that video. Thanks, Spooky. Dang it, I guess I'll just have to make those videos private then. Damn. Uh, let me, sorry. I guess I should have double checked, but I didn't expect them to change it last second before it went live. Stupid devs. All right, I'm I'm just gonna make those videos private, and I'll just uh, I'll just fix that later because I don't have time right now. <sighs> oh, sorry, you said block element, spooky. Okay, never mind. Then I'm making those videos public again. Yay! Sorry, I have tired brain right now, and I'm a little bit frustrated because of it. Like, I can already feel, even while I'm playing, like, my hands are all shaky, and it's it's very, very annoying. <laughs> oh, Lord. I was not ready for this update. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's calculate this. So, I need 75,000 nitro. Whatever. 10... Oh... Of course. Go 
Goodbye, Flux. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. So I should have enough now. And then people ask me, why do I save my Flux? Well, there you go, that's why. So I need like 5k more. Uh, screw it, I'll just buy an R stack, I don't care. It's cheaper now. Is the update on console? As far as I know, no. <clears throat> uh, yes, I did get the last Curio Merchant costume. I'll have that video come out probably tomorrow as well as the patch notes, obviously. Um, one of you guys was saying that the Leviathans suck, apparently, so that's fun. Vish? What are you talking about, Vish? You're talking about the cost to max out the gear crafting, right? Not, not, uh, not Crystal 5 gear. If you wanted to buy all the mats from scratch, it cost my five mil flux to max the bench, including flux used in crafting. Oh yeah, that's okay. The gear crafting, I'm not too worried about because it's honestly pretty easy just because of the amount of resources that we can just grind ourselves. And don't worry, we'll start grinding soon. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Budge, by the way, just sorry, Twitch chat. Um, Budge is doing good. Lights. So far, she's fine. So that's good. Also, Miss Rhett, GG on getting barred. Yeah, I saw you uh, mentioning that in game. And hi, Multi. Also, hi, everybody else. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello. Okay, you know what? Let's start out the stream with some squats. Just some body weight squats, because so help me, I gotta get my body temperature up. I don't care what you say, okay, we're gonna do it proper. It's just body weight squats, we go up, right back down. And I hear my knee pop every single time, because my knees suck. This is why I always skip leg day. Not because my legs aren't strong. My legs are actually god tier and level up so much faster than everything else, but do push-ups they work better no that's just an excuse to skip leg day <laughs> ah my knees Buh. genuinely dude my knees pop every single time it's so annoying there see i feel so much warmer already because you guys are fools squats do circulation that's why everyone hates leg day. You want to know why? Because it ends up taking all the blood out of your body. Hey, look. It's the Shadowhunter costume, you guys. The costume that I'll never be able to get. Yeah. I don't know why the game just all tabbed right there. Okay. Uh, let's get started. So let's start crafting some of these costumes just because mastery is mastery. I don't need to make a video highlighting these costumes because we already did that. <sighs> Won't be able to get that one. Won't be able to get that one. I guess we could go for this. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think they nerfed the amount of C5 you get from boxes. Oh, I 100% assumed that already, Kev. Like just 100%. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm actually out of breath. Stupid squats. All right, let's start crafting stuff. Why'd you guys say to do squats? That was a terrible idea. Yes. Yes, the mastery. It's not much, but at least it got me a level. Funny enough, I actually just got a level, so... From the uh, other costumes. Okay, now the problem is I need to actually like favorite a lot of these. Because otherwise, look at this. If I start scrolling through, it's already gonna have like all of them despawn over each other. I don't like the lemur Solarian costume, honestly. Uh, the knight costume is not bad. And I guess I'll favorite the lemur just because because it's funny 
I don't like the pirate costume. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that barb costume either. Neon Ninja costume is dope. Gunslinger costume also dope. The Draco costume is actually pretty cool as well. Um, I opened over 4,000 boxes and got three Crystal Fives. Took about two to three hours. That's, you know, it has to last, right? <laughs> so, yeah. It's all good. Dang, dude, getting a lot of mastery levels out of this. Let's go. Notice the Neon Ninja costume is based on the Curse Veil vale NPC. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I knew it was something familiar, but I haven't seen that NPC in a long time, or at least I haven't actively paid attention to it. Dang, dude, we got a few levels out of that. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, I don't like the Pretty Bird costume. It's kind of cute, but kind of bleh. I, I'm still not a fan of the gray, even though the Imperium costume is great. This is an amazing Rev costume. I love that one. Um, Resistor Rancher. Yeah, sure, why not? And then that's probably my favorite Vanguard costume, honestly. Space Bard is cool. And the Jack-O-Lantern for Solarian is, I mean, it's cool, but not my favorite. So, this I'll be able to grind, this I will not, because, ha, ah, Starfire Fragments. Anyways, did I get anything out of my mastery pool? Oh, I got quite a few things. Okay. Uh, recently acquired. Where's, where's my mastery stuff? <laughs> Why isn't it including them? What? Okay. Uh, which ones did I have already? Mortmara already had that. I think I already had Vernon as well. Yes. Which means the new one is... No, I don't think I had anything new, actually, because I already had the Wakeling as well. Okay, my bad. That's why I didn't show anything. Okay. This is it, gamers. We're going to start talking to this mo moron. Bum, 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 bum. At least this is cheaper. Get a pure reforged gear by opening a gear crafter's vault. So that's where you get them. Were they just not on the test server then? Hmm. Okay. No, I'm not going to be able to get the Shadowhunter costume. Not for a while. I already grinded the Starfire Dragon Fragments for six hours total. And I only got one yesterday just out of dumb luck. I still got to make a YouTube short of that because I think my reaction was really funny. Oh dear God, people are already going crazy. Okay, we got to keep up. That's a Pure Forge gear, not the Pure Forge mole. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, ew. Guys, we already got Crystal Five. Imagine. Hold up. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, why Why are they stronger? The enemies weren't strong this strong before. Oh, I gotta actually go out of my way for these. Stop with the knockback. Oh my god, the game is so laggy. As expected. Whoa. Where's the new box? Why spooky? Where's the new box? Did I get one already? I did not, so they're not guaranteed. Hmm. Wonder if they lowered the drop rates of them. Yeah, nobody knows when the update drops on consoles. Just FYI. Ah, yes, an empty world. Thanks, Spooky. Where 
are these boxes? Are they secretly in my inventory and I just didn't notice? I just, I remember like on test server, we were getting one like every single dungeon. Wonder if they actually nerfed it. That would be pretty atrocious. I'm skipping that dungeon. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Um, U9 drops is guaranteed one, whereas U11 is two guaranteed. Of the uh, boxes? Okay, so they're in my inventory. I just don't, don't notice them. Yeah, you got two gear crafters vaults. Where are they? What do they look like? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know when I got that. Uh, which stupid box is the gear crafters box? Is it like in this category that I just didn't notice? Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. It just threw it into a random spot. That's why. Um, I think it's still bugged because I get two of the boxes in U6 as well. Really? It's funny because they had so many issues with U6 on the test server. I, I guess they still they still have them for some dumb reason. But we want to stay in uh, U11 just because of the chance of getting Crystal 5 is a drop, right? Obviously, the odds are going to be terrible, but... That's fine. Grinded topside for like four hours and got zero C5. That's what I like to hear. Honestly, Crystal 4 is not much better. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Also, just a heads up for anybody that might be tuning in and you're confused about certain things or whatever. Uh, I will, of course, like I am recording this at the same time, so I'll make a bunch of clips afterwards, you know, like I did with that last bigger stream. No, you fool! Why did you go the wrong way, Spooky? It's okay, I wasn't paying attention. 37 KPR and got a C5 drop. Nice! I assume from a dungeon and not the gearboxes, because gearboxes apparently need 45k. Um, kind of funny, I was recently able to buy Gonda, and after the update, it's not creating blocks because of how laggy it is. Ah, yes. Good. Once again, like, it, it wouldn't be a Trove update without lag, right? Like, come on. It's, it's a feature. Dear God. Oh, right. Right, 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 Spooky. Yeah, thanks for confirming. You need 45k PR and 250 in the stupid gear crafting. So save your boxes, boys. That's right, I forgot they made that change. Which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I totally understand it. So don't unbox anything at the moment. I need to make an hour video highlighting that, actually. Or we could just get it as a drop. That would be dope, too. <clears throat> uh, let's make C5 difficult and difficult to max. Yes, because they're trying to drag out the update, obviously. Do I ask about Trove trips on tips on stream, or do I message you about them in Discord? I mean, it depends on what your uh, what you're trying to ask, Croc. I'll do my best, but I'm a little like you guys gotta understand. I'm a bit preoccupied with the game right now. My brain is very slow with its uh, what do you call it? Like my neurons are not all firing off today. I'm so used to skipping those. And so I'm trying to pay attention, like it's taking a little bit more effort to whoop, focus on the game, especially because of the ragdoll. Um, but then I'll also try and pay attention to chat as much as I can. But it's, it's frustrating because I, I already like can even feel I'm not playing optimal. It's just annoying. <clears throat> also, yes, Vincent on Twitch. 
Uh, Crystal 5 is out. Uh, there we go. I'll wake up. It's just I need my caffeine to kick in. Fully getting the hang of Bard. Seems really fun. Might be a second main class if I keep enjoying them this much. Nice Miss Rhett. Bard for me, not very fun. But I totally understand why people would find it enjoyable. I got three Starfire Fragments and six Delve Levies. Enjoying that Shadow Hunter skin. Nice, man. GG. Yeah, I have no luck when it comes to the Starfire Fragments. I mean, I might end up just getting them like passively now that I'm not actively farming them. That's the dream. Because I'd like a nice change of pace to use the new Shadow Hunter costume. Even though personally, I don't like it as much as uh, as this one. Like I think I think it's just the purple and you know all the neon colors and stuff. Like it's just I don't know. It's kind of my colors. Would you build? Uh, wait, what? Would you build? Oh, Solarian or Boomer for DPS? Entirely up to you. If you're doing a boss killer, I'd say Solarian is easier to build, and in most cases better. Boomer can be better as far as I've heard, but you have to be playing pretty optimally. And Boomer is naturally going to end up being a bit faster than Solarian, so that's why like it, it really depends if you're trying to do like dungeon grinding and stuff as well. One of the things that I don't really like about Solarian is it's not very good as an all-around class. Whoops. North. Not entirely sure exactly why I need help with, but my Shadowhunter is almost max level and the PR on him is low. Well, that's... You need to get a max level so that you can end up actually putting your gems on. Um, that'll make a big difference. Can you shoot that, please? Laggy game. And then otherwise it's dragons, crystal gems, uh, gear. You know how it be. Wee! What do you think of Pirate Captain as DPS? I'm probably one of the only people that actually acknowledges Pirate Captain can be pretty god tier. But it's very, very situational. Just because you basically have to have enough pots that you can spam your uh, ultimate. Which uh, is not as good as other classes that just get to, like, you know, go, go, go right away. I need a stupid... Oh my god, I hate inventory management. I need to actually, like, just start deleting, like, all of these items because I can't see anything anymore. There. My god. I wish I could just sort my inventory by, like, name or something instead of always having to have it, like, just randomly do whatever it feels like. Obviously, I'm uh, quite tired, as you can hear, because I'm quite cranky. Uh, is the update on the console? No, unfortunately, it's not. Which is kind of disappointing, because they didn't specifically say that it wasn't. I feel, I feel like they're trying to trick everybody a little bit with the hype. And maybe not trying to trick. Maybe it's more so they just didn't think about it. But I don't know. Whee! Currently, I can't play on Bard because my pirate is in the contest this week. Oh, okay, Miss Rat. That's why you're still kind of on the fence. I get it. The mortar alt spam. I don't have the emblem for it, but uh, you convinced me how powerful it can be with the Leviathan video. Yes. Yeah, if you guys are ever curious about, like, raw numbers and strengths obviously i don't have every class playing like completely optimal stats or anything like that but i got my 45k series where you know every class 45k versus a u10 leviathan eventually we'll have to change that but i'll probably wait until we get like maybe 50 kpr or something i don't know it just seems like a more well-rounded number than just oh 47 kpr Ooh. now the thing is even though i say oh i need to save these boxes like the forge boxes i don't think we can because i think we have to unbox them 
uh, in order to get the profession up. So it's it's almost like every other aspect of the game where we have to, uh, you know, we have to grind it in order to grind the next thing. Because we got to get that profession as high level as possible today. You don't have to, you can save them. Oh, okay. Where where do you end up getting the uh, the items that it wants? Because it says like, oh, get a pure forge thing from the from the stupid boxes. What's the alternative location <clears throat> for that? Excuse me. Will you do an unboxing video of what? I would, but. You do have to open a couple of the boxes at the very least. Yeah, in order to start doing the quest line. Mm hmm Do you get the... F Oops, I keep forgetting to go for those. Do you get the fragments? Uh, what, what are they called? The gears? Are those just drops that we're getting right now and I'm just not noticing it? Whoops. I'll say, hey, Bobby. Are you going to play Dragon's Dogma at the end of the stream? Yeah, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to play it today, guaranteed. Actually, I can publish the other stream from the other day as well. Uh, you get them from Loot Collected Gear. Right, right. Thanks, Chronicle. Also, hi. Yeah, see see what I mean? Like, I knew that. It's just my brain is, like, so so stupid today. I guess I can't be too frustrated because my my brain being slow is entirely owed to Dragon's Dogma. It's just so good that like I, I'm I'm like I'm like my I'm I'm running on fumes right now. <laughs> Cause it's like, oh I'm tired and I wanna take a break, but it's like, but I wanna keep playing. <laughs> Yeah, I'll guaranteed play it some tonight. Multi, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> anyways. Is Candy Barb the meta? Meta of what? Sucking? No, I... <laughs> meta of what? I'm genuinely confused. Uh, you should check out the Vault Magnet Potions in the store. I think they're worth buying. They give you two times boxes. Oh... Ooh. Okay, so... Mm. Hmm. I don't like that because that's kind of following the same as the dragon coins. Where it's... Uh, get, get out of here, you scum. It's basically just saving on time. In the long run, I still don't think that I would do this because, again, I'm playing the long game here. I'm not about, like, just getting everything maxed out right away. And that's kind of what these boxes are to me is just cutting down on time. And it's like, it, it, like, personally, like, when it comes to video games, I'm also just kind of against time savers. Um depending on the circumstance like i'm okay with grinding as my point makes any gear uh crafted at the gear crafting forge in the next three minutes more powerful oh oh i really don't like that oh i mm. so they're trying to make gear pay to win Sorry, I'm just digesting that. I really don't like that. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what about the magnet ones? Get out of here, you scum! I'll kill you! Oh, you're dead. Idiot. Alright, what is this? Get a one-time boost on your gear crafting journey with 200 gear crafting volts. Oh, this is different. It's a one-time purchase, though. That's not awful, but again, I don't know if I would go for that. And then makes more gear crafting vaults drop for the next hour. So this would be 30 hours worth. Hmm. Like, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that I'm against this. Like, you guys go right ahead. But for me personally, I don't care. Like, I'd rather just grind. This is literally, like, 
<clears throat> to clarify, this kind of reminds me of like Assassin's Creed, where you would spend money to skip the grind. So you're essentially paying money to not play the game. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of my mentality towards it. So I would rather just, yeah, I, I'd rather just grind it myself. I'm not too concerned. And then I'm also noticing that this is, oh, that's just gear, gear crafter vaults, bro. I already almost have 200. If that was 2000, that would make more sense. <laughs> that's so bad. I haven't even been grinding for an hour. The rates, man, like, I again, it's like they have all these things in the cash shop, but their value is just like, what? Why do they even test or play this? No, they don't. You're being paid to win is useless. There's something that you get too much over time. I know, Chronicle, it's, that's, that's my thoughts exactly. It's very strange. Like, you literally just get all of it from playing the game. You know what I mean? So it's just, I, I don't know. Again, go for it if you guys want. Like, I'm not, it's not like I'm like morally against it. Oh, it's so controversial. You know, it's like, I don't care. It's just, for me, I'd rather play the video game. Like, I, I feel like dragons and stuff like that kind of makes sense to pay to win just because the dragons are so stupid to obtain because the dragon coins desperately need an overhaul as we've talked about many times. Um, but when it comes to gear, it's like, bro, I'll just slowly get it. It's kind of the same mentality that they had towards uh, the last update. Like, you know, the, the the Mystic Arts had all this pay to win involved as well. And then when we ended up uh, actually grinding it instead of paying to win, you know, my unboxing video, it was like, dude, this is not worth it. Like, I can get this free to play no problem. I mean, I guess at least it's credits, so I can't really complain, but. Did you see the new Curio Merchant costumes? Yep, yep, yep. I'll have that video come out uh, probably tomorrow or something. I gotta remember to go out of my way to get those. Grinding Starfire Fragments last night for six hours. Didn't get a single one. My friend joined me, killed a few enemies, and got one instantly. Yes! Welcome to Trove. Where it doesn't actually have any slow guaranteed karma bar to the drops themselves. It really should. Like, that's what I like about the Gear Crafter boxes, is they do have a karma bar. So at the very least, you feel like you're working towards something. Even if I'm sure the things that you get out of the karma can be trash. Because we're talking about Trove here. But I think it's great that they're adding stuff like that. You know, like, I, I feel like a lot of aspects of this game could desperately use some sort of a karma bar. <clears throat> also these tomes feel like they're just we're flying through them like jeez do you know what PR gear uh, drops out in the vaults uh, I mean if you're interested in crystal 5 that's at 45k PR but they did change it from the test server so that you have to have 250 gear crafting minimum so just keep it in mind why do people say C3 isn't worth it? Uh, well, especially now, it's just, it's totally not worth it. The problem is like, cause base C4 is stronger than C3 maxed. So even if you can't afford to upgrade it. I'm not gonna be able to max out Crystal 5 just because I don't think I have the Forge Fragments, honestly speaking. But whatever. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Okay, how many of these do we got? Let's go to 200. And then we'll go back to the hub and kind of chill for a bit and um, catch up on things with the quest line.
Does the gear crafter star chart matter for C5 drops in the gear crafter's vault? I don't think so. I'd have to double check, but as far as I know, it just affects um, crystal four. I'm not sure if it just increases the drop rates in general, but it, it might. I haven't really messed with it too much because I was waiting for it to go live because I didn't want to uh, experiment with stuff on the test server when they keep changing things. Uh, but Chronicle's saying that it doesn't, so there you go. At least what I've seen is about 500 block elements per one full inventory page. Ew. See, that's the biggest problem with this update. And I, I talked about this in my other video, but the fact that inventory management is just going to become an absolute joke after this update. Like, I really don't like it. Mechanically, like having to manage your inventory is just like so not fun. Like, thankfully, we have a loot collector, but it just. We're already loot collecting gear constantly that we're picking up in the environment, let alone now the gear crafter boxes themselves. Like, I hate it. I guess it makes inventory expanders a lot more valuable, but at what cost? So, Curse Supply drops from dungeons, but you can craft it. Uh, wait, what? doesn't drop from oh you're saying it doesn't drop from dungeons no 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 crystal five drops from dungeons it does you just can craft it but more importantly you can unbox it no uh gear is very accessible this update like as much as as much as the crafting cost is terrible it's it's so much more accessible I talked about it in my uh, other video the other day, talking about like how to prepare or whatever. <clears throat> I may have to get more caffeine. I need just another little boost. Stuck at the point where even max gear gems, I have like seven more dragons to get 45 KPR. Nice. Don't you love it? I know the dragons are like one of the big problems for a lot of people. It's a huge bottleneck just because grinding them sucks. Especially if you're not spending money. <laughs> Legit. Um, yeah, as Mystic said, sorry, I'm not catching all your guys' comments, but thank you guys so much for uh, replying to people and letting them know stuff. But yes, max out C2 gear. Don't bother with C3. You can just skip right over. C2 is like significantly cheaper. And then C3 is way more expensive. And then C4 is more expensive. And then C5 is even more expensive. If you can believe it. Uh, the beams off of items is a PC mod, yes. Guess they added the 250 gear crafting requirement so that 45 KPR people couldn't instantly skip to C5. Yes, and I'm okay with that. I think that it makes more sense as far as like the game is concerned. Like I'm not I'm not against a lot of the changes. It's just certain things kind of rub me the wrong way. But at the same time, like I totally understand why they would do XYZ. <clears throat> Uh, can a 44 KPR unbox C5? No, no. It's not about the karma. You have to have like a minimum of power rank requirement. It's kind of a way that it forces you to have um, like your class actually has to be strong first. You can't just skip. And even then, like I, I didn't include in the video, but I really should have the fact that you need 250 gear crafting as well which I'll, I'll have a video talking about that with like the gear crafting and so on. So is it too guaranteed every single time? Yes, it is. Okay. That's kind of annoying, but I guess the reason why it's such a static number rather than random is because of the new potions. So that makes sense. Kind of gross. 
crafting crystal five is not worth it no god no because if you craft it it's gonna be at level one <laughs> so just no that is a lot of elites Are there new mods? Blah, blah, blah. Are there new mods needed for this update? I don't think so. I haven't checked though. I don't really know anything that would be inconvenient enough to require a mod with this update, if I'm being honest. Dear God. What's up with people giving away codes for the new Jack costume? Oh, the Solarian costume? I don't know. I don't got codes. Usually what happens is the modder will end up getting like a crap ton of codes and then they give it to like their friends and stuff. Which explains why I don't have any. <laughs> no, I'm not like, I kind of just do my own thing. I'm not really as involved with like the Trove community stuff, if that makes sense. I don't know. It might sound like a lame excuse, but I'm I'm too busy being a content creator. If that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, the skill tree seems to give you some power acts to give you more vaults or a chance of it. Right. That's true, Chronicle. Yeah, I'll have to slowly work on that. But that requires a lot of the forge element or whatever it's called. <clears throat> boss marker mod is the definitive boss raider. By your boy Chronicle, who's there in chat right there. God tier modder. <laughs> Oh, we... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. This is funny. <laughs> okay, so... There's this new stuff in the store, right? And uh, one of them is this right here, which get a one-time boost on your gear crafting journey with 200 Gear crafting vaults. Okay, so 2,000 credits. Look at the credits. Mm, so about like, what, 15 bucks? You're going to have to basically spend 20 bucks on this, right? 20 bucks gets you something that only took me 40 minutes to grind. Not even that, because we didn't even start grinding immediately. Probably like 30 minutes. Bro, I don't have, like, I love my job as a... Okay, are we better now? Stupid OBS, man. It's OBS, it's not even my internet. Like, I'm used to dealing with internet problems because, you know, I'm just paying out the ass for super internet that it's just inconsistent. But OBS has been messing up so much lately where just randomly it's like, oh, are you really streaming? <sighs> Dumb. But I think we're good now, right? Anyways, uh, where was I? Okay, so I don't I don't know if it cut out when I was talking about this, but uh, basically what I was okay. Let's just start from the top. Worship rewind. So I spent. 30 minutes and I got over 200 gear crafters vaults. They want you to spend roughly 15, 20 bucks for the same thing, which means that that would be, uh, let's say 40 bucks an hour. And what I was saying before the stream cut out is that as much as I love being a YouTuber, I am not making $40 an hour. <laughs> Like the, the value of these items is so ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like I understand like being a cash whale, but the value of this is just so 
minute. Like, why would you bother? It's just strange. Anyway, let's ignore that. All right, let's see. So get pure forge soul thing from the stupid boxes. Check. All right, let's see if I can get one. Drop some nitro. So that means that these boxes will actually make nitro cheaper. Not by much. And then, oh, uh, I don't know if it cut off, but Simi was saying something about grinding um, five-star sundered uplands. Were you grinding U11, Simi, or was it U10? I'm sorry if you ended up replying, but the, the stream issues, uh, yeah. Because it would make sense. Five stars would be the new best. Uh, well, I mean, they were always one of the best, most efficient dungeons, but the Sundered Uplands would be super efficient now because of the guaranteed drops, which is why I would assume you did in U11. Oh, no, you did in U10. Okay. Yeah, we'll try that. We can do some five stars because it should be better odds. That's right. Okay. Does this have to trigger on Karma? Like, good Lord. Does it count as a rare? Three, two, one. <laughs> Lucky you got a pure forged weapon bow. Okay. Cool. Um. Whoa, and then reach 250 in the gear, gear crafting. That's it? Okay. Hmm. You mean interact with the table, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. So when we loot collect all these. So is it the gear crafter items? They're the only ones that drop the molds. The ones in the wild do not. They drop the forge element. No, one of them right there had a mold. So, okay, so they fixed it so that the items that are three star actually drop molds now. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Because that was not the case on the test server. Okay, let's see here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, not bad. Okay. Uh, what about this? 5,000, which we're close to that. So this is 2% chance for Gearcrafter Vault whenever forging. Drop from a completing dungeon. Two, three, three. 3.5 whole percent. Wow, that's so worth it. Dude, what idiot was in charge of this? I don't care, I'll say it. Whatever dev made these numbers is a moron. You need to make it worth people's while, bro. You need to make it so that the last one here is the most expensive, but has the most value. You can't be like, like 0.5%. No, why would I waste these resources for that? That's just such a waste of time. Receive one gear crafter vault every time you get a lucky roll. Increase the amount of gear crafters vaults by one and then by two. Yeah, see like that's actually worthwhile. Like. Yeah, I know. It should be like, it should so like in total, this should go all the way up to like 100% so that you actually just have like a lot more from dungeons. Like that's so dumb. Okay. Well, I guess we got a craft. Also, I like how Spooky was saying. <laughs> he basically grinded $2,000 worth of uh, these boxes just based on like the pricing. <laughs> That's funny. I hope it's something like the last one is actually 0 0.5 times more rather than percent. Yeah, that would see that would make a lot more sense rather than the percentage. If it was times, yeah. Okay, uh, 
I guess I'm going to have to start buying some of this. I don't want to. This is not worth it. Oh, boy. Okay. Make a few of these. I mean, we're going to be bottlenecked by some other resources anyway, so... Block element has a daily limit. From the NPC, yes. Which, why would I bother? Okay, uh, 28. 29, 30. I am clicking it, even though it doesn't show that it's clicking. So that's fun. Upgrade the gear and loot collect. I will try that. Uh, that didn't work on the test server, but I will, I will attempt. Let's actually find out. Because yeah, that, that didn't work on the test server initially. So two star, three star. And then, where is it? Oh, is it in order? Wait, where is it? There it is. Hey, okay, so they did fix that as well. Awesome, thanks E6. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have really tried that. I don't wanna have to forge up all this gear because, you know, it's annoying and I can't like just press space bar or something. You guys on console, it might actually be easier. I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. It's so annoying. Like, it's definitely more cost effective and is going to ultimately save me flux. But uh, what does it save for my actual real life time? Nothing. So let's not do that. You should buy block element, though. They are cheap. Yeah, but it's like... What is that? 5k flux for 500 block element. And in 30 minutes, I got like over 2,500. So I still don't think that the value is worth it. Like again, if this was 1,000 block element each, then it would be worth it. But to me, I just, I can't justify it. Like it's just, it's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, that's true, Vish. Yeah, I should only... Okay, you're right, 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 right. We should upgrade, like, better gear rather than just the garbage ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what were we doing next? Sorry, my brain. Hello, the collector. Oh. Weirdo. Did we have anything else secretly in the hub area? I don't see it. Uh, five star. That's what we were going to do. Did somebody already have one? Otherwise, I'll just go to U10. Oh, game crashed. Good. Awesome. Yeah, I guess that's true. 500 element is just... It is extra element. That's true. But I still don't care. <laughs> like, my mentality is we're gonna reach the end goal anyways, so it doesn't really matter how we get there. That's kind of my thoughts towards it all. Uh, the flask NPC near the chaos NPC. Wait, what fish? Oh, there's like a new NPC. Chronicle saying, Chronicle saying this might be uh Oh, thank you. This might be a thing that could be made into a mod, although I don't think someone will take the time for it. We'll see. Oh, for the for the forging thing? Honestly, a you could just use a macro program to set it up. I'm just too lazy. I used to use them, but I don't care anymore. Uh, all right. What do we got here? Looks like one of the Garbo dungeons. Yeah. Uh, 
Hello, dum dum. Die, dum dum. Oh dear God. Okay, he, we're already at a pretty high floor. Now the question is, how close do we gotta be in order to actually get the loot? Someone already did that one. Okay, so that someone's already got tunnels that I just don't see. Spooky's at 250 on the gear crafting already. Nice. GG. Is C5 any different? Eh, it's just a stat increase, that's it. <sighs> oh, nice, Bray. Somebody ended up throwing you the costume code? Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to check my DMs later. Maybe people threw me codes, but I already crafted them anyway, so who cares? For me personally, like, the biggest ones would just be the Lunar Lancer costume and Shadow Hunter costume. Otherwise, honestly, I would just give away any of the other codes if I got them. Remember when I used to actually do giveaways? Oh my god. I wish that this game had, like, a mailing system. It would make it so much easier. I would be so much more inclined to, like, give away stuff. But right now, it's like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, do that one. Ah! I believe you get two volts per skull. That's cleared, so that's 10 every wave. Okay. Really? And you 10 as well? Interesting. Let's see. Um, 77, 8, 9, 10. We actually got three on that one. Interesting. So it's very random. Let's see. We're in U10, by the way. Okay, that's enough now. Yeah, that's two this time. Okay, very strange. It's so laggy here because all these people. Two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Maybe maybe we just got another chest somewhere that gave me one at the same time as the cursed skull. Interesting. <clears throat> So yeah, essentially this is now the meta again, which kind of sucks because I don't like these five stars that much. So if anyone's just tuning in, basically uh, this is the five star dungeon in Sundered Uplands. It's basically an infinite dungeon to a degree. Eventually the enemies scale so high that we just can't deal damage to them anymore. But uh, because of the consistency of chess spawning, it makes it uh, more worthwhile because the chess can continually drop the uh, items that we need for the gear crafting. <clears throat> Guess this is the off stream C5 farm. Wait, what are you? Oh, like just for everybody, you mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm probably going to be streaming most of this update anyway, just because, hey, it gives me something to do. <laughs> we'll hopefully be able to get at least one C5 today. That's kind of my goal. Because otherwise, like, again, my brain is just so dead today. I want to I wanna be able to take it easy. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a blessing in disguise that we get to do these five stars. Even if they're super boring. 
Oh, Lord. Wonder if... Yeah, that's why everyone's standing in the center, because they probably still get all the loot. Sucks it reaches a point where I can't contribute to damage and stuff. Yeah, it's all good, Mess Red. Doesn't matter. Lots of people are always leeching in these dungeons anyway, which I, you know, again, I don't blame them. Bro, I only got one C5. Oh man, spooky. Jeez. Out of how many boxes? You know, I also realize I think the reason I'm kind of shaky today is uh, probably because I need to ha actually have food. I might get a snack in a second. Okay, Spooky unboxed two over 2,000 Gear Crafter boxes with the 45k PR requirement and the 250 uh, Gear Crafting requirement and got one C5. So yeah, I think they nerfed them. <laughs> I think they I think it's safe to say they nerfed the drop rates. Dang. This dungeon's almost dead. But we need more. Um, hey, Zuck. Don't forget to craft the costumes with those moonlight bulbs. No, I know. I know. I still need to get more of the moonlight bulbs. We'll probably do that, like, to wrap up or just take a break from grinding dungeons for a little bit. Maybe while I have my snack. Otherwise, we're probably going to be streaming for quite a while today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like how someone else got frustrated with like trying to figure out where the room was. They just put the red blocks. I like it. I did get 16 C4s though. There you go. So C4 becomes so much more probable now. And I'll take it, you know, like makes makes gear like so much more obtainable for a lot of people. No, the update's not out on console, sorry. No idea when, uh, kind of annoying that the devs didn't mention it. Ah! But I'll have plenty of highlight videos for you guys after the stream is done, don't worry. Over the week, that'll kind of explain things and... Oh, you know me. I'll cover everything. Oh my god. The lag is really frustrating today. When isn't it, but... Can I kill him quick enough? Die. No invaders! Oh my god. Shut up! They're so loud. Uh, oh, I'm not dealing damage. What wave are we on? I think it's because I need my Berserk Battler to kick in. No, we have it kicked in. Hmm. Ah! Oh my god, what's going on? He actually disables your jumping? That's the worst possibility in the game. The hell? Okay, um... What do we get out of that? Wow. Yeah, that only... Whoa. You weren't kidding, Simi. So what essentially took 30 minutes in the overworld took 10 minutes, if that, in this dungeon. So yeah, five stars are definitely worth... No, I know it's not worth farming after wave 79. I just I just keep going because I don't care. <laughs> okay, I got to grab a quick snack, guys. Just 
BRB really quick. It's just a protein bar. I guess I had to grab a pill, man. Feels sick. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, so what we'll do here, gamers, is uh, I'm just going to AFK this one for a little bit. If it ever loads the world. Answer a couple of your guys' questions while I just uh, get some food in me. Oh, I see. Nobody else is here. Okay, well, hopefully someone else can go for this. But yeah, that's uh, that's quite a few boxes, man. Not bad. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Hey, Derpster. Last time I saw you live was on that our website. You mean D-Live? The website that died? Oh, for Crystal 4 gear out of the GearCrafter boxes, honestly, I don't know. I'm going to assume 35 to 40 KPR, but I have no idea. I know you'll be able to craft C4 though. Hey, look, there's a Lancer costume. Nice. Can't confirm whether higher Ubers gives more boxes, but pretty sure it doesn't matter. For the five stars, we can test it. I think that this would be efficient enough, though, because in U11, unfortunately, we can't really go too high in the waves. So we kind of have to, like, just leave. And thus, we can't be here as long. I need to get higher altitude, I think. Oh, never mind. That seems to be a good spot. Nice. Hmm. This thing toys are no value lately. Let's do the force fragments, I guess. Um, being 27 KPR, less than 5k light, is it possible to jump to C4? I currently have C2. Probably, but I don't know the exact numbers. I'm sorry to say that everyone's kind of only really interested in Crystal 5. So if anybody ends up testing and knowing the numbers for C4, that would be great. Uh, let me actually check the patch notes while we're at it, because maybe it mentions it. By Yara.
No, doesn't seem to say anything. Leave it to the devs to not actually give us the exact numbers in the patch notes. <laughs> so that players have to discover it all through rigorous testing and stupid, like... <sighs> so dumb. Geode modules have been unequipped in this update. Okay. Oh, someone was saying earlier that the uh, Leviathans are worthless as well. So never mind farming them for Nitro, like I was initially saying, or theorizing. <clears throat> but yeah, if anyone's just tuning in, kind of just taking a little bit of a break before we go at it again. <sighs> I didn't have Brecky or anything, so... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, hmm. We're gonna be very hard pressed to actually get Crystal 5 gear today. I hope that we can, but we'll see. God, it's bright. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. What time zone are you? Uh, the main time zone. All right, let me let me just get some more water and then we'll get to it. Also, yeah, Derpster, I was saying, like, was that on was that on DLive? If I recall, that's where you showed up, right? I think. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. You know, I wonder... I wonder how rare C5 is as a drop, because... It can only drop from U11, so 5-star Thunder Uplands in U11 might actually have more value than this. Just depending, because at the very least, RNG could take over, and you could get really lucky. Maybe we'll test it out. Obviously, the drop chance is going to be, like, ridiculously low, and it wouldn't matter unless you got uh, super lucky and it was 2-star uh, minimum. Because we want to unbox them. Why is it not pointing me to them? Dear God. Because it's lagging, that's why. <clears throat> Are you Max Mastery? God, no. No, I unsubscribed from going for Mastery a long time ago. What's going on? Is this a visual glitch? I don't know if I've ever seen that. There we go. Stupid thing. Oh my god. What? Dude, you know it's bad when even the boss radar is messing up. Like, what the heck? Oh my god. The world is just losing it. Oh my lord. This is like buggy, not even uh not even laggy. This is very strange. Did 
There, is there any other big changes with the update? Uh, I'm sure there is, but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't go through the patch notes yet. Oh good, someone's killed it. Someone probably just shot straight up. Uh, sup, my YouTube chat is messed up and doesn't even show up. Nice mystery, good to hear. I love how YouTube can't even manage like live streams. That's cool. <laughs> so annoying. Towers are a bit buggy with the boss radar mod. I haven't had this happen until right now. Maybe it's something to do with the update. But it looks like towers are buggy in general right now. So maybe it's just that it's not showing the bosses in game quick enough for the boss radar to discern like what's happening like i don't think that it's the boss radar mod i think it's just the game being broken right now if i had to guess <clears throat> oh like the entire chat was blank for you mystery nice I had better luck farming C5 through U11. Yeah, we're gonna go to a U11 tower after this. Cause that's what I was suspecting as well. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Screw it. Let's attempt. Got two C5 already, nice. Again, the ones that are dropped are gonna end up being pretty worthless just because the upgrade cost, but cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, how far is this one? Only a few waves in. I got you, bro. I'm here. Oh my god. I'm spamming left click. Oh my god, video game. Oh my god. I hate this game sometimes, dude. It's so, like, barely functional. Thank you. Now I can contribute. Get it. Video game. Holy crap. Why is this world that has less people way laggier than the other world? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, let's see. What do I even want? Yeah, sure. Wow, dude. It's so bad. Oh my god. I guess the servers are gonna start dying even more honestly because now everyone's farming the five stars and for whatever reason it just lags the game like crazy. Because I remember when these first came out. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get like a C5 with a couple stars in it. I'm spamming left click by the way, like holy crap. Guess bounder doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> I'm shooting you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll just shoot him through the floor. I don't care. Oh, I got a Phoenix moat. Good. I still don't have enough of those. Especially now after the stupid Solarian costume. Thanks, devs. Which consoles got the update? As far as I know, none of them. But who knows? Maybe the Switch did. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Is it possible for me to add you? Oh no, you guys are always welcome to add me. Here, I'll do uh, accept all friends. I did it! I typed a command! So again, just in case people are just tuning in, at the moment, grinding Sundered Uplands uh, five-star dungeons is the most efficient method of getting the gear boxes. We're actually in U11 right now because C5 can also just drop from dungeons in U11. But 
we have to get extremely lucky and have the gear actually drop with a couple levels in it because the ones that you can unbox have two stars minimum meaning that for it to be worthwhile we have to have at least two star minimum dropped because otherwise it's going to increase the cost of both nitro and forge fragments exponentially but as you can see the game is barely functional at the moment <laughs> good lord Come here. Please. Stay still. Of course I wasn't damaging him. I wasn't even near him according to my screen. Oh my god. Pull me up there. Pull me up. Just pull me up. I'm just gonna keep shooting. There. I did it, guys. Eh. So frustrating when you can barely move in this game. Servers are gonna be lagging a lot while people are farming for this. Yeah, I know, I know. It's gonna be really bad. Especially it being a gear update. Like, it's not like an event where people just log in, get their stuff, and log out. This is something that's gonna be, like, lasting a while. So servers are gonna be dead for, like, a week. Kinda sucks. <sighs> Any tip for consoles to prepare for the update? I already put out a video that just talked about that. Also, High Redstone, it's been a while. Um, however, I was incorrect when I made that video in the crafting components required, like the nitro and the forge fragments. Uh, I haven't updated video since. That's why I can't see the boss, because technically I was at the bottom floor. Video game! What? Oh, someone pulled him down. I see. That's funny. We ooh. But yeah, honestly, there's not really much you can do to prepare for this game, uh, for the update, just because so much of it is behind the new mechanics. If you want to call it new mechanics. I would barely call it new. It's, it's just grind dungeons. It drops new items now. That's That's basically it. Apparently C5s can't drop with stars, based on what a lot of people are saying. No, that's just... that's not true. They're just getting unlucky. It's really, really rare to get it with stars dropped. Like, just gear in general. Like, it's way too early for people to be saying that. I'm not saying that they're wrong, uh, even though I just did. Uh, I'm just saying it's way too early to say. Like, give it a couple days, and then if people are talking about it, then sure. Unless, did the patch notes mention it? Oh, maybe. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, I think you, okay. So they're probably right. You probably can only get it with zero because they're trying to make the gear crafting more valuable. Because gear crafting does specifically mention that you can get five star gear with like a couple stars in it. And the only reason that they would even bother mentioning that is is to make more value on it. So yeah, I think you guys are right. Damn. Well, we can get some molds out of it, I guess, and forge fragments and all that air crap that we need. But that's terrible. Hopefully, hopefully that's not true and we can just get like extremely lucky. Oh my dear God. I didn't know Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was already out because I'm like KO Kenning all over the damn place. Pull me up. Lift me up. Chris, the gear has never dropped with stars, have they? I'm pretty confident they have, but maybe I'm mixing that up with back in the day with stellar gear. Honestly, my memory is warped at this point. I really don't know. 
Also, those of you, just to, just a quick reminder. First of all, on YouTube, thank you guys. Uh, please leave a like, I would appreciate it. And then for those of you on Twitch, because we are multi-streaming, there is Twitch drops. Which I think the biggest item, if I recall, is like the Shadowhunter Blue Ranger costume or something like that. But I think you gotta watch for like, what, 50 hours or something ridiculous? But you can leave it in the background while you watch on YouTube, the superior platform, where the chat mutes itself every now and then. Seven hours for the last drop. Yeah, okay. Honestly, I'm surprised. I thought it'd be eight. Usually it's eight hours for Twitch drops. According to patch notes, if you do get gear from the vaults, they will always have two stars. Yes, that's what I was reading, which is what has me suspect that, yeah, you guys, you guys are like pretty much correct in that Crystal 5 dropped probably has no stars to, again, make it seem like the gear crafting is more valuable, just because that's something that the devs always often do. Oh, I'm actually not damaging him. Oh, no, I am. Weird. Okay. I think this will be the last boss that we can fight. Dear God, my frames. 4070 Ti, by the way. Good Lord. All right. Do we even have an hour floor or is it just an hour boss? Nice. One more. <clears throat> the ones that you unbox can rarely have three stars. Ooh. So that's what we're really hoping for. So what I will say, uh, I don't know if like this is obviously not as efficient when it comes to the gearboxes. U11 versus U10. So I think I think you're right, Simi. I think U10 is still more efficient just because we don't really like that C5 gear is basically valueless. So, hmm. let me get some of this crap out of my inventory here. Good Lord. I mean, we got a C4 bow out of that. Not bad. Goodbye, C4 bow. I said goodbye, C4 bow. Get these out of the way. Uh, What else we got? So much garbage taking up your inventory in this game, dude. I need to go for uh, the moonlight bulbs. Maybe we'll do those now. Just take a quick break. I know we keep taking breaks, but there's a lot of things to cover with this new update. So, yeah. Okay. Um. So we're at fifty. Hmm. Guess I'll just craft, whatever. We gotta try and get this as high as we possibly can. I don't know if we'll get to the 250 today. It depends how long it takes. But I guess the real reason we want to end up doing the U11 five stars is so that we can at least get a crystal five today. Whoops. <clears throat> Any release date for the update on console? <laughs> no idea, dude. I didn't even know that it wasn't going to be on console today because, you know, they didn't actually mention it in the patch notes once that it was PC exclusive. So that's fun. Also says in U9 plus Gearcrafter Vault, or one Gearcrafter Vault will drop every time a dungeon is completed. Okay, so it's, it, okay, that makes sense. Oh, whoops, I didn't craft nearly enough. One, two, three, four. I mean, at least we can kind of skip through all of this with our flux, but yeah, these these are going to become a problem. 
Well, I say that, but I, I just need to unbox more things. Hmm. Yikes. Okay, well, more flux down the toilet. Why not? Apparently, Vish was saying it costs like 5 million flux in total to max this profession or something. Oh, there we go. We're going to run out. Now, we do still get the block element from dungeons and so on and so forth, but... Also, yes, I'm going to cave and do what you guys said. Get those. How much more did that give us? Eh, it gave us quite a bit. <sighs> this is going to be quite expensive. Okay. Uh... Let's open it until rare. That's a rare? Oh no, it's just lagging. You gain 43k XP. For what? For opening a box? Weird. I know we should be saving these boxes for the Crystal 5 drops later, but again, it's not going to matter in the long run. What was that? What even was that? Like, what? <laughs> okay. It's saying it's a rare, but I guess because my gear crafting is not high enough, it doesn't actually, like, give me... Hmm. Weird. Oh, man, the block element. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be our biggest bottleneck. And these these boxes don't even drop like enough, unfortunately. It's just from loot collecting gear basically. Now, do we get more from Yeah, we do from higher tiered blah, blah, blah. Okay, um Let's do one more U11 Sundered Uplands. And then we'll go to U10. See if we can get some uh, moonlight bulbs in the meantime. I don't know if they can drop in these biomes, though. Is U10 five-star ships the best way to farm those boxes? Yes. So far, seems like that's the case. The reason we're doing U11 is because I'm a paranoid freak and I want to see if we can get a C5 drop even though it's going to basically be worthless because it's not going to be high enough level for me to bother investing nitro into it. But, hey, why not? Oh. It's most of all right now about experimenting, you know? But we'll end up going back to a U10 ship after this, just because it's so much more efficient for the boxes. And the gear doesn't seem to matter that much. Like, we just... Unfortunately, it's just time that we have to invest in order to get our uh, gear crafter up. Because we just need the forge element. From start to finish, uh, wave 79 or so, you should have about 200 volts per ship in U10 Sundered. I thought we were getting more than that, but maybe I wasn't keeping track of it properly. Does it matter which Uber you get your volts from? No, no it does not. That's actually a good question. You'll just get more volts in U9 and up. Again, crystalline cores are basically useless now, so... And, of course, I had a feeling. As I was shooting him, I was like, he's gonna teleport to me. 
rather than me teleport to him. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, dum dum. There you go. What's max PR now? Uh, I don't think we even get to 48k, so don't worry about it. It's pretty bad. Sorry if I miss a stream is laggy on YouTube. That sounds fun. I like how YouTube is dying as well. Um, what mod is used to open all the boxes? Uh, I forget what it's called. It's a mod that I haven't used that long. But I talk about it and many others in my mod, um, video. <clears throat> Doing towers to get a C5 drop, I'll let you know what I get star-wise. Yes, please, if you guys can report that to me, just... I'm assuming everyone's just getting the one star. It makes the most sense, but I mean, you never know. Maybe people are just getting really unlucky. Yeah, so to clarify A4 and to anybody else, so I was uh, I was slightly off with my most recent video. Unfortunately, I forgot that they made this last change, uh, last second change, where basically you have to have 45k PR and you have to have 250 gear crafting level in order to actually get C5 to drop out of the boxes. It's not just tied to power rank anymore. Which is fine, I get it. Like at least the profession isn't time gated in any way, so it's fine. The only issue is the forge element that we're missing right now. Which is just tied to grinding, just loot collecting gear. What PR do you need for C4? I don't know, I'm sorry to say. Lots of people keep asking. If somebody knows the number, please let me know. I would assume 35k PR, but it might be as low as 30k, it might be as high as 40k, I don't know. I'm assuming it's at 5k intervals, because that's usually what the devs do. You don't need the gear skill tree, right? No, no, you don't. No. The gear skill tree is worthless. It's just somewhere to waste your resources once you have everything maxed out. That's basically it. Um, I think U11 topside is better for block elements because you get a lot more gear drops. True. Yeah, because right now, okay. Yeah, because this is for the boxes themselves. You're right. Yeah, I should probably just do that then. And then I can get my Moonlight Bulbs as well. Yeah, we'll do that instead of uh, Five Star Dungeon because that's true. Like right now, the Forge element is the bottleneck for me. More so than getting these boxes. Like these boxes, it's, it's easy enough. And frankly speaking, I'll take any excuse to not do Five Star Sundered because I hate these dungeons. They're so boring. I guess it's cool that the update actually gives us two different things worth grinding though, right? Also, I got two C5s in an hour from U11 Topside. Nice. Were they both zero star, Kev? Both zero star, okay. Yeah, that's probably the case. They're probably just always gonna be zero star. I feel like upgrading trashy, uncommon gear from novice worlds will be the cheapest way of farming the molds. Yes, but you gotta consider the carpal tunnel you'll get out of it, Miss Rhett. It's not worth it. But yeah, technically that would be the most efficient, is just upgrading garbage gear.
Wait, really, Simmy? Hold up. Just die already. Jesus. Okay, screw this. Hold on. Man, it's laggy today. Good lord. Wow. <laughs> wow, you're right. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's fine, but that's cheeky. So you can't craft the basic uh, crystal gear anymore because now they threw it into the gear crafting. That makes, it makes sense. I, I just find it kind of surprising. It's such a change, you know? Oh, and then here's the over nitro thing for like, yeah, okay. The big punch in the face for beginner players. No, it's not, it's not. It's it's easier to get crystal now anyways, so it really doesn't matter that much. I was just surprised by it. But no, crystal gear is so much easier to get. It, it really isn't that bad. <clears throat> Happy it'll be easier to get C4 gear so I can put it on my other classes. Nice. Didn't get Crystal Fist for Vanguard or Bard. Also nice, Miss Rhett. Don't worry, it gives you something to grind. Is it worth it to watch seven hours on Twitch? I don't know, man. Yeah, like, like Kiwi said, it's free mastery from a costume. You can just passively grind it, so why not? But, but who cares at the same time? Like, you don't have to just watch me. If, if other people are even playing this on Twitch, I don't even know anymore. No, like I browse it. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, just normal dungeon time. Let's do it. Wow, guys, I got a C4. <laughs> Garbage. Get this out of my inventory, please. Get these out of here, too. I don't want them. And those. Am I going to regret destroying this? Probably. When they add another costume that costs like 500 of them. Swap off that. Give me that. Whoa. You guys weren't kidding about the lag. Holy crap. I pressed E like an hour ago. Oh my god. Yikes. <sighs> wow, dude. Holy crap. Barely playable at the moment. Dang. That sucks. That, that, that's the biggest like downfall of this game is just the server capacity. It's so god awful, man. It really like ruins the fun. It's barely functional. Holy crap. Oh my god. Well, Pange. We're gonna suffer today, boys. Okay, I have to suffer. My job. Oh my lord. Go in the portal. There we go. If we don't stand beside any players, then it's okay. Oh my god, you guys. We got a C5. Just kidding. See, like, it's not bad if we're alone. But you guys <laughs> want to stick around with me, so that's, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's fine, I don't blame you guys. Tried top side for three minutes until I couldn't handle it anymore. Quitter? No, I'm kidding. I, I do not blame you at all. It's quite frustrating. Woo! Oh lord. <clears throat> Wait. 
Wait, what are you saying, Dredge? Sorry, I didn't catch your first comment. You guys are saying that you actually still get two of the forge boxes from easier Uber worlds as well? Because that's not supposed to be the case. No, Kev. It's okay. Yeah, Nitro prices got a lot lower. It, it is also gathering day, but on top of that, yeah. I'm in U6 right now getting two to three per dungeon. Interesting. I still don't think that's going to be as efficient as uh, just going into the five stars in Sundered Uplands, but eh, it might be though. It depends how quickly you can clear, which U6 would be a joke. So we'll have to test that out later. Yeah, someone else was saying that as well, Dredge. So it's definitely a bug because U6 has, U6 was messed up on the test server as well. Um, Kev was actually able to get tradable C5 gear in U6, <laughs> so yeah. What's up with the daily Nitro thing? So, they have this new thing now where Leviathans will drop this box and they drop like a limited amount per day or something like that. And you can go to the Crystalline Forge in Geotop side hub or spawn, whatever. And you can forge one into 75 nitro, if I recall. Which, it's cheaper than buying it on the player market up to a degree. Like, I think I think it's like 10 or 14 boxes forged is cheaper than buying them. So at the very least, it might be impacting nitro prices. But overall, it's still worthless. I, I don't know if it's something worth doing. It's just kind of a nice thing to do on the side while you're also grinding Leviathans, you know? Oh, sorry, you get 175 per. Sorry. Yeah, not 75. Oh my God. It's, it's a bit better now, the lag. Not that bad. Yeah, sorry, there's a lot of different things to try and keep track of with this update, so. Uh, it's 175 Nitro plus random extra ranging from 20 to 60. Oh, okay, then that is worth it. it. Worth it in the sense, again, where you can basically get Nitro from just grinding Leviathans rather than having to actually go out and grind Nitro, so. <clears throat> What's the whole point of Guillermo? Uh, Del Toro? Hopefully Pacific Rim 3. Sorry, that was a really bad joke. Um, it's the Gear Crafter. Basically, gear is a lot more accessible for everybody. Did you get C5 already? No, God no. It's gonna be an insanely rare drop chance in the first place, let alone the only way that I can get uh, out of the uh, boxes is I have to get my Gear Crafter up to 250 which is going to take a while because of the forge fragments unfortunately that would mean yeah that would mean u6 would be the most efficient for the forge fragments at the moment because not only are you getting two of the boxes but also the sheer amount of loot that you'll end up getting obviously you can't get Crystal Gear, so maybe not, but... And then you would do Sundered Uplands 5-star dungeons to get the boxes themselves. But you only need the boxes once you've got the profession maxed anyway, so... Oh my god, the knockback. Hmm. Um... U10 Geodes upside is faster oh because of the yeah the crystal drops i guess would equal out to more forge fragments you're right hmm i mean point is u6 is still going to be good at the moment and it's probably going to take them like a month before they actually fix it so makes the end game a lot more approachable for you guys Um, yes, completely agree. If you guys get the gear crafter boxes, save them, hoard them, do not use them. 
wait until you get the profession maxed out, which arguably makes the profession take longer because you're not getting the forge fragments out of it. But, uh, yeah. Oh. I probably should also turn off my gear filter. Because we want to start picking up all the garbage gear now. Hmm. I'll do it after this dungeon. I mean, higher gear is obviously going to have better drops, but... Or a better forge element, but... But if we're trying to be as efficient as possible... No. Oh my god, the first time ever. I'm actually turning it off of Shadow Gear. I might still crank it back up because, like, I don't like it. I don't like picking up all the garbage. <laughs> but point being is this should be more efficient just because we want to loot collect as much gear as possible now. Does mean our inventory is going to clog up like crazy, though. Kind of sucks. Oh, hello. Where is it? There you are. What the? Whoa. <clears throat> I'm at 29.4 KPR and can't get 30k, but I got 6.2k light. Any tips? Dragons, uh, gems, augmenting gems, crystal gear, especially leveling it, which is going to be way easier for you now. But I'd suggest get uh, 30k PR so that you can go into U11 and then just follow people around for uh, the crystal gems. If you can't afford to just upgrade your gems. What do you gain the bulbs for? There's a Chloromancer costume that requires 50 of them. Come to think of it, did I lose all the ones that I got earlier because of my disconnect? Like when the game crashed? No, it seems like we still have them, thankfully. This on Xbox. No, as far as I know, it's not on consoles. Which, unfortunate. How much range has been dropping out of the gear vaults and miners' troves? I'm sure two. <laughs> Though I never heard. Yeah, sorry uh, for the late reply, but yeah, it's it's such a minuscule amount. It doesn't matter. Is the update next week? No, it's live right now. What are you talking about? We're streaming it. Unless you're talking about console, in which case, no one knows. I'd love to tell you guys what the release date is, but we're talking about Trove here. We only ever hear about these updates uh, last second. In fact, for you guys on console, you're not even going to hear when the update hits. It's just going to hit. <clears throat> Best way to gain C5? Pretty much what we're doing right now. Trying to be most efficient. We got to get... Um, our gear crafter maxed out as soon as possible so that we can start having a potential chance to unbox Crystal 5. I'll have videos clarifying and talking about all that stuff, don't worry. But essentially, we're just being as efficient as we can right now, and what we need is Forge Element, which is a new resource that you get from loot collecting gear, which is why we are loot collecting and gathering everything that we can. Does Tempered Element Block drop chance by crafting gear increase the higher tier it's crafted from? What? Uh, oh. I don't think so. Because they have a 
there's like the forge skill tree or whatever you want to call it and that like increases the odds but I can't confirm 100% because I haven't messed with the forge thing that much yet. Like, it's it's too new. But I don't think so. Unless you guys report otherwise. I didn't see it when I was testing it on the PTS. Can't wait for gem day tomorrow. Hoping I get decent gems so my pirate can finally go from stellar to lesser to crystal lesser. Nice. Since every box in U11 was at least stellar, I upgraded all... Wait, what? Oh, all of your cosmic gems. Nice. Yeah. Saved me time because I didn't have to do the lunar souls. Yes. For temper block elements, you should always craft tier one gear. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference. Thanks, Kev. So yeah, just craft the most garbage gear that you possibly can for them. That's funny. Um... Okay, Chronicles got some numbers for us, boys. 250 gear profession accomplished. According to the vaults that I haven't opened, it took 900 dungeons around there. I can finally go to sleep. Yeah, later, man. Okay, 900 dungeons. How many hours did it take? That's the real question. But that sounds about right. We'll uh, go back into the hub soon and see how much more level we can get. I don't think it's that long, honestly speaking. Like, it seems pretty okay. I mean, well, I say it seems pretty okay right now, but it's because I'm at the lower tiers of gear crafting, so it doesn't cost that much. Took me around six to seven hours. Okay, so I'm not getting it today is what you're saying. <laughs> That's okay. It gives me something to grind. But I was not optimally farming for most of it. Yeah, I don't think many people are. The most optimal way you can farm in this game is by just being more casual about it so that you don't get, you know, bored. Got to level 200 in about four hours with patron and stuff. Nice. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't remember what my level was at. I think I was only at like maybe going to 150 and we're about, uh, let's say like maybe as far as dungeon grinding, maybe an hour and a half in. If that might be lowballing it. How many of these do we got? 39. What about the pure forged mold? Uh, I don't know. Did any of you guys get one? Can you report on that finally? Because I haven't been able to get them. When Well, I didn't get any of them on the test server, so I, I still don't know how we get them live. Do you think we will ever get a new world again, or does it seem unlikely? I mean, we can always get a new world, just like we can always get a new class. Will we, though? I don't know. You get the molds from the boxes. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I was still unsure. Pretty gross. Again, like, the whole thing is, you gotta understand that all of this is just related to just grinding dungeons now, so I can't really complain about it. Even though some of the mechanics are a little bit bleh, like, at the end of the day, at least it's just something we're casually doing with this game already, which is just grinding. 
Got a couple molds out of 200 boxes and then from 700 boxes. Nice. Good to see that they're extremely rare. Just like, I don't know why they're that rare, but whatever. Let's, uh, okay, so what we'll do before we go back to the hub for forging. Let's, um, slowly get enough of the moonlight bulbs while we're here. And then once we have enough, we'll get out of here. And then see where we're at. Again, my goal is hopefully we can get a C5, even if just as a drop. It's worthless, but... Maybe we already got one. JK. <laughs> so funny. Those epic drop rates, bro. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, in the back of my mind, I still just wanna play Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> uh. There's a lot of videos I wanna make on it as well. I was thinking of some funny videos where it would be like uh, comparing the Dragon's Dogma classes to Trove, because I know not many of you guys are interested in that series, but I don't care. It's an amazing, wonderful game. Definitely one of my favorites. And uh, oddly enough, some of the classes share a lot of striking similarities to Trove classes. Like we literally have the Fey Trickster in Dragon's Dogma. It's, it's weird. And the class is called Trickster. Hmm. Um. Yes, you can get uh, Crystal 5 gear as a random drop uh, from Geo Topside U11 only. Well, maybe not Geo Topside only, but U11 only at the very minimum. And they're not worth it because the ones that you get as a drop, as far as I've heard, always generate with zero levels in them, so zero stars, which means that it would cost a lot of Nitro and Forge Fragments to level those up versus getting the ones unboxed, which will have two stars minimum. I think they can have higher actually, so. Uh -oh. uh, but somebody else saying as well that they're having better luck in U6 for the uh, boxes, which yes, is true. But right now I'm trying to efficiently farm gear because I want to have the highest gear uh, possible to drop as well as all of the garbage because we're trying to loot collect it for Forge Element, which is one of the new crafting components that is bottlenecking me to the uh, to the new gear crafting. However, if you want to be the most efficient for the boxes, it's going to be U10 Sundered 5 Star Dungeons. because it's an infinite dungeon and you basically get the boxes from five stars, so. Oh, sucks, you're just here for the gem boxes? Nice. <laughs> yeah, all good. Pay trickster without the trove jank. Yes, exactly. Um, are the C5 from the boxes still tradable? No, they were never tradable. The ones that would, so there was a bug. Long story short, there was a bug where U6 dropped five star gear was tradable. That is no longer the case. The ones in the boxes, I don't think they were ever tradable.
I think that if you're trying to uh, just going back to the same subject of uh, efficiency, I think that if you're trying to grind boxes as well as gear, U6 might be better, but I'm paranoid and the crystal gear is giving me more forge element than just garbage gear that I would get from an easier Uber world. So I don't know. It might be more efficient. Who knows? Okay, we got enough for the Chloro costume. Ugh. I wish that the Crystal 5 was tradable, or if the new boxes were tradable, but... No? Let's see, did we get lucky? Nope. Lame! But that's okay. Alright, let's see. Um... I was expecting U12. I know. Weren't we all? Imagine putting out an update that adds gear that makes us stronger without actually putting out anything worth being stronger for. <laughs> Trove in a nutshell. Later, Simmy. Yeah, have a good night, man. Oh my god. Okay, so we were able to get to 150 in maybe like an hour and a half of solid grinding. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to max out this profession today unless I really push. But at the same time, like, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, I'm in no rush because we kind of have to make this update last. <laughs> hmm. Because if I just rush through it all and then we end up just getting C5, it's, I don't know, it's kind of boring to just be done with it all, you know? At least in my opinion. Okay, we got quite a few of these boxes, though. Uh, we will we will do a little bit more grinding, though, for sure. Let's try and get, like... Oh, I need that costume. Whoops. There we go. Really good Chloro costume, by the way. There we go. What about this? Oh, it's 5k each. Ew. Okay. 150 each. Yikes. Oh, that's brutal. 300, oh my dear lord. And then a thousand? Come on, that's not worth it. Sheesh. Just waste a bunch of flux here, because who cares? What idea, Blazy? All I saw was your comment saying, idea. Did the update make the 20k to 30k grind easier? Yes. Gear as a whole has become so much easier after this update. Like, genuinely. Yikes. Yeah, that's gonna end up taking me a few more hours for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Like, again, I could just keep grinding it, but, and, and do it in one sitting, but at the same time, it's like, why? I don't know. Like, to be fair, guys, like, I'm kind of, I, I know I say this a lot, but genuinely, like, I'm playing the long game here. And to the point where it's like, I still enjoy this game, and I still just want an excuse to play it. So grinding Crystal 5 gear, okay, cool. 
uh if we just get it all grinded out like in a day or even in a week then guess what i've got nothing to do again like we have to make this update last so it's just kind of like mm, i don't know but we'll grind a few more dungeons we'll see if we can get uh maybe up to 200 because i don't think we're gonna get crystal five as a drop if we do cool but <clears throat> What you're saying is content is boring and grindy and it could be done so much better. No. <laughs> no I'm saying it all. What's wrong with you? You guys, man. I, I like... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just say this, okay? Just because you guys don't like Trove doesn't mean I don't like it. Like, I enjoy this game. I think the execution of some of this stuff could have been done a lot better, but... And generally speaking, I just think that Crystal 5 was a mistake, because I wanted actual content, not just another piece of gear to grind. But am I bored? No. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing this game. You want to know what's boring to me? Warframe. Destiny. I got to the point where I started to see what the end game was and I was just like, I don't like this. With Trove, it's like, we're kind of just grinding dungeons anyways. And this, in my opinion, is the funnest part of this game. So I'm okay with doing it. But my main point is I just don't want to have it all done immediately. You know, like I'm not concerned about getting this done as quickly as possible. I, maybe that's my streamer brain or content creator brain. But at the same time, it's most of all just because like I've been playing this game for such a long, ridiculous period of time that I'm trying to have things that I can do so that I do still want to keep playing the game and keep it fresh for myself. If that makes sense. Because otherwise, if we just grind it all out of the way, like, I, I think back to when, what was it, like, when Vanguard first came out. And I still remember when me and Joe, uh, I think we were the first players in the game to have Vanguard maxed out because we just grinded for, like, six hours straight, nonstop. <laughs> and I mean, you know, there's something to be said about that. It was that exciting, and, you know, I felt, like, that invigorated and just inspired to, like, max out the class and stuff. But then as we got Bard, and then as we got Solarian, I became less and less interested with the rat race of trying to be first. And it was more so like just about my enjoyment first, if that makes sense. And that's kind of what's going on here, because unfortunately, let's be real, getting Crystal 5 gear for every class is worthless, because I'm never going to have the resources required in order to max out that gear. So all I can really do is get a good set of gear for my Shadow Hunter and then work from there with getting a good set of uh, uh, weapons and then possibly um, getting my hands on uh, a physical and magic set. And then otherwise that's basically it. Then we've beat the game again <laughs> and there's nothing else to really do. But anyway, you gonna make a new video explaining how the new crafting works? Oh yeah, you better believe it. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover everything. You know me. Yeah, I'll make uh, I'll, I'll make a couple like stream highlights from this stream. I've been you know marking timestamps and stuff of things that we talk about that's interesting enough to warrant making a short video about it. Uh, but then there's also gonna be like the full on tutorials and stuff. Don't you worry, I got I got you covered. I'm got a lot of ideas. It's just um <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If I seem a little distracted, or like maybe I don't want to do this, it's not because it's not fun. It's because I would rather be playing Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Cause that game is just enthralling right now. It's just so good. That's that's the main thing, is just that. 
So there's a part of me that's like, dang, I want to just stop this stream right now and start playing Dogma. But at the same time, it's like, no, no, I gotta, I gotta work. You know, this is my job. <laughs> So if I seem a little distracted or disoriented, that's why. Like, Dragon's Dogma has literally been keeping me from sleeping. Like... But anyway... Oh, I know. I know, Clord. Yeah, saying we could already clear U11 comfortably. Why are we stronger? I know. I don't understand it either. Like... That's kind of the worst aspect of this update is that as much as, okay, I get something new to grind, cool. It's still pointless as far as an update is concerned. We're already strong. Now I will say it does make, it does make crystal gear a lot more obtainable for players and that's okay. I'm fine with that. But as far as us end gamers, like crystal five is worthless. I feel like what they really needed to do was either have like a new difficulty come out just in general, because let's face it, we are already too powerful in this game and skip C5 gear and have it come out later. Or have it all come out at the same time or just never mind C5 gear because it's ultimately worthless. I think that the gear crafting is cool. I think, I think the other thing too is it would have gone a long way if it wasn't just C5, if it was like a different tier, like pristine gear or something, you know, like even if it just functionally had the same thing where it's just, oh, it's just higher stats. Okay, dear Lord. Like I'm fine with gear just having a higher stat value and not really impacting the rest of the game just because welcome to Trove. But uh, just having a higher number is not exciting. You know what I mean? Like just psychologically, it's just, it's like, okay, big deal. Getting extremely laggy, by the way. Might be a good time to call it. Um, what Swift? What is the name in the monitor of Crosshair? You hit dots to change. Wait, what? You mean the dot crosshair, or do you just mean the uh, definitive boss radar mod or the damage mod? Either way, I have videos that highlight the mods that I use. I put one up more recently. Um. Ultimately, the update just wasn't what the game needed. Yeah, pretty much. It is unfortunate because I feel like this is probably the big update that the devs promised us months ago. And unfortunately, it just seems like they just, I don't know, it's its like, I'm not gonna say it's like, oh, they can't catch a break. It's just, it's very weird. I understand that the entirety of this update essentially makes gear pay to win. I don't know anyone who's going to be dumb enough to spend money for the gear, though, just because the value of what they're selling in the cash shop is worthless. But I, I just find it like so strange that this is what they were working on. Like, can they please just start working on the stuff that we want? The stuff that we keep asking for? Like, imagine not just constantly adding new classes to the game, which is their highest money generator. I would say. But I think they desperately need to add like a proper end game biome or honestly just lazily throw U12 into the game. I think U12 would have made a lot more sense with this update because then they could have had C5 gear exclusive to it as a drop. But I don't know. There's just a lot of things that I would very heavily question within the internal decisions uh, with the dev team, which I don't know how much of it is them deciding on these things and how much of it is game ago, like a CEO decision saying, ah, we got to be able to monetize the gear. Because if you look at the track record of what game ago has been, you know, making the devs to add to the game, 
uh, almost every update they have now involves adding a mechanic that either is a new mechanic, like Mystic Arts, Martial Arts, blah, blah, blah. And then they end up adding a cash shop heavy influence to that, you know. Or they take an old mechanic, fishing, gear, and add cash shop into it. Which, to be clear, I'm not against. I just feel like its execution is really bad. Especially when there's other things that would be better. Other things that would be more worth their time. Like, talked about it many times before, I still think that a battle pass would work wonders in this video game. You know, just copy Fortnite's battle pass, make it so that you can get it with credits so that the option for free to play is there. But then you can also buy levels in it or whatever. Wow, we got a crystal tree. Oh my God. Ugh, who cares? Much as people think battle passes are kind of like cringy and stuff like that. I, I just think it would work very, very well in Trove. But instead, no, let's just put a bunch of costumes and stuff in the Curio Merchant that charge premium prices. The costumes I'm okay with. It's when they add like a stupid ally or a mount that's just disgusting and then they charge like 1k credits and it's like, just throw it into a pack. What's wrong with you? Like, I'd love to see the metrics of like what sells in this game. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, lag. Good. We'll do this next five star and then we'll call it. Because whatever. Priority should be stopping dupers ruining the game. Well, they kind of did with the taxes update in sort. I don't know. I don't really feel like the dupers is a problem. I mean, I guess just because of the flux. Oh, this is already done. Like flux dupers, but that's not as much of a problem as it was back in the day, so. I have gotten 8k crystalline cores today, so that's fixed. Yeah, that's, see, like, there is a silver lining. There is a lot of positive here. I know that us end gamers are very frustrated with this update, but uh, generally speaking, this is a really good one. It's annoying because obviously, it's just another tier of gear and, you know, all the problems that we ended up listing. But ultimately, it helps the majority of players to be able to access the end game better. So, fingers crossed, Copium. Next update's finally gonna be the one that we've been wanting. <laughs> uh, also, Miss Red, I have... Check the channel. I have shorts of all of the 18 new costumes. Uh, on top of the video that also shows them as well. Okay, let's see. How many can we make here? Oh, the Skeliachi, sorry. Uh, I know I showed that off in a video, but I probably didn't do it as a short, because I don't think I was doing shorts back in the day. Dang, dude, that's... Ugh. Block element, brutal. I'd say, oh, I should open these boxes, but at the end of the day, the amount of block element you get out of those boxes is trash anyway, so. All right, let's see. One of my favorite costumes for Bard. There you go. Beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Alright, this is just gonna take, like, hours. It's not that bad, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'll answer any last questions that you guys have. Otherwise, we're gonna wrap up. I got, I got a lot of clips that I gotta edit down from this stream. And then on top of that, I do want to... Well, I wanted to play Dragon's Dogma. I'm not going to be able to until later tonight during the Goblin Hours. 
because the wife's gonna get home soon, so I gotta make food. No, nobody's grinding adventuring anymore. It's almost like that mechanic doesn't make sense anymore. Where do you make the costumes? The new costumes, it's just at the uh, Chaotic Combinator, the other Chaos Forge. They're all here. I will not be able to get this, and I will never be able to get this. Because, haha, -ha, six hours to get a single Starfire Fragment? No. Just, just no. Put all these away. Whoops. We didn't get that many C4s out of this, which, whatever. We will eventually. I guess is the point, right? Can the mod please, like, let me click a button that turns the sound off, or just turn the sound off in general? Because it's so annoying. It gets so loud. But yeah, ultimately, you know, 600 boxes. I think, what, what was it you guys said? You end up with like maybe two or 3,000 of the boxes by the time we get the profession maxed out. So we'll get to really see then just how much uh, C5s we can potentially get. Probably none. But again, we're playing the long game, so it's fine. Yeah, I'll be streaming Dragon's Dogma later, for sure. That's one of my favorite games right now. It's so good. It's right up there with Elden Ring for me. Update on Budge Budge. Yes, I already did have uh, an update in the last Lexian video, as well as on my Instagram, but she's doing fine. She kind of walks funny in that she's not like limping or anything, but I still think that the vets are completely wrong. I think that they said it was her back. I think it was her leg because she walks weird on her back leg now, but this is her life because we're not spending 10 grand to fix it. And then, and then here's the other thing too. Let's, let's, you know, dark, but true. All I'm thinking is, well, there's no guarantee that the dog will survive the surgery anyways. And then what? Vets are a scam. That's all there is to it. Is there any point in upgrading C3 or C4? Or should we just loot collect as it drops? Um, well, it depends where you're at in the game, right? I would suggest upgrading C2. Uh, but in order to get 45 KPR, apparently you have to upgrade C4, which kind of sucks because it's the only way that you can get enough PR that you can then end up getting Crystal 5. So, but it depends if that's your goal. Like, are you trying to get to that part in the end game? Otherwise, you can just do it one at a time. Go from C3, C4, but C3, C4 is just arguably better than C3. So, are you going to play No Rest for the Wicked? Yes, 100%. I'm really excited for that one. Um, is the ability to filter different levels of crystal gear has always been in the game or is it just my mod? I don't, yeah, you mean for the loot collector or are you talking about in here? Because in here, it only goes up to crystal. If you're talking about the loot collector, I don't know which mod you mean. Because one of the mods just does and doesn't destroy it. Oh my god, is that... That's all I have for my Phoenix modes now. Oh, you stupid Solarian costume. I should have just not crafted it. <sighs> I'm already almost 45 KPR. I was just wondering if it gave extra drops whenever you upgraded it. Huh? Oh, you mean like for loot collecting it now? I mean... Yes, I don't think it's worth it. Um, if you're trying to play the like ultimate, like if you if you don't care about giving yourself carpal tunnel, then you want to actually upgrade garbage gear to three star, because then when you loot collect it, you get the mold. But I just can't be bothered because I'm just going to be loot collecting hundreds of pieces of gear anyway. Uh, it's my mod I can filter picking up only C5. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. The better settings mod, I guess. I don't know how that's... That's not better settings now, because now we need to pick up all gear. But, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know someone figured that out. Anyways, 
that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Smash like on the way out. I hope you had fun. Uh, obviously, I'll be streaming Trove throughout the week, but I'm going to also make highlighted videos focusing on some of the stuff that we talked about today, as well as tutorials for sure, covering all the new stuff. Patch notes will be coming out tomorrow, uh, but for those of you that are interested in Dragon's Dogma, I'll be streaming that later tonight, uh, probably after the wife goes to bed at like 10 p.m. Pacific, if not a little bit earlier than that. Either way, love you guys to death, and I hope you had a good one. Good luck with the C5s. Again.